So in our previous video, we discussed about creating, implementing CRUD functionality for our category model. And in this video, we are going to be discussing about how we can implement CRUD functionality for our post model, which also includes uh, selecting multiple categories for uh, while creating a single post. So what I've done here is I have created a file called create.blade.php, which resides inside our post folder which lies in our backend folder so what i've done is i have created a folder called backend inside our views folder and it consists of a folder called post and a file called create.blade.php and it consists of a simple form which has two input fields one is of type text which says as enter post title in order to enter our in order to input our po post title and another one is description so what i'll do is i'll start configuring our form in order to store our post so what i'll do is i'll just create a route in order to for our action which is which will go to post dot store and the method will be of type post and let's give it a let's give a name for our title so the name will be title and the name for the description will be description and we also need to implement our select selecting the categories for selecting the categories for adding the post so what I'll do is I'll just copy this form from this div and copy it here so it has a class of form group and let's give it a label of select post categories and the input type will be of type select which will have a name of categories and since we can have multiple categories so what I'll do is I'll just define two square brackets here so it will be of type array which will consist of IDs of multiple categories and we don't need the ID tag here and let's also give it a class of form control And now it will have multiple options so what we need to do here is we need to loop through each of these categories so what I'll do is I'll implement a for each loop and we'll get all the categories so for each categories as item what we can do is we can implement the option here so for some reason I'm not getting this and the name of the okay not the name the value of the option will be item id and the name will be item name so what we need to do is we need to define our routes as well so let's go to our web.php file and what i'll do is what i'll do is i'll just copy these two routes and paste it here so one will be okay let's multi-select this and what we can do is usd post create which will be called as post dot create and another one will be post store which will be called as post dot store and which will go to post controller at the rate create and post controller at the rate store so let's also define let's also create our controller so php artisan make 
controller posts controller so our controller has been created and let's go to our post controller and in order to create what we need to do is we need to grab all the categories so our categories will be category all and we need to return our view of backend dot post dot create and we also need to send the categories and in our create.blade.php file what we also need to do is we need to import our CSS and JavaScript files for our select to library so what I'll do is I'll just define a section for styles and also a section for our JavaScript which will be called as scripts so if we go to our master.blade.php file and as you can see here we have we are yielding all the styles in this position at our head tag and we are also yielding all the scripts at this location so all everything that we mentioned in our scripts and style section will be yielded at this at that location so in our style tag what we need to do is we need to grab our CSS file so let's just copy our CSS CD and link and paste it here and also copy our script file and paste it here and in order to initialize this what what we need to do is we need to okay we have we need to check the documentation here so in order to implement our script what we need to do is okay let's just copy this code and what I'll do is I'll just copy it here okay we need our script tag and paste it here so document or ready function will grab the class so let's give it a class of categories and this function will be called in our categories class which will initialize our select to library so let's go to our form group let's go to our select tag and let's also give it a class of categories and let's also implement one more thing we need to go to our master.blade.php file and what I'll do is I'll just copy this li and paste it here so that we can see a link in our sidebar so the link that we need to go to is post.create and add a post save it and let's go to our browser and reload and now we as we can see here we have three forms and okay well, I need to implement one more thing in order to multi, multi select multiple items from our select tag what we need to do is we need to we also need to and we also need to mention that we need to select multiple items so what we need to do is let's go to our create.blade.php file and just paste it here in our select tag and now let's reload our page and as you can see here now we can select multiple categories for our single post so what happens when we click on add post so we need to implement that functionality as well so let's go to our post controller and implement our store function 
so what we need to do as soon as we hit the store function what we'll do is we'll okay let's just do one thing we'll store this in our post variable and post create which takes an array and the title will be request title the description will be request description and one more thing that we need to implement is we need to define our eloquent relationships so let's go to our post model and define our relationship with the categories so let's define a function public function let's name it categories and let's remove everything and it will have a many to many one to many relationship okay not not one to many but many to many but what we can do here is it belongs to many app slash category so this way we can Okay, not belongs to many we need to what we need to do is return this belongs to many app slash category so now we can grab all the categories from for a selected post and since we have already defined our pivot table so now we can implement some functions related to pivot table and the way we do that is go to our post controller and we'll do that by using the relations so post categories so now we are accessing the relation post categories and the way we define the ids for a single post which has multiple categories is by calling a function called attach so this function what will it will do is it will it will link this post id with the with the all the selected categories that we get from our create.blade.php's this id this array so this array consists of multiple categories that are selected while we create the post so if we have if we are selecting two categories then what it will do is it will the array will consist of the categories of these um, the array will consist of ids of these two categories and then it will attach these two category ids with the post id so in order to do that what we need to do is we need to call this function so attach and what we want to attach is we want to attach the request categories and as soon as we do that let's return redirect back with success post created successfully and let's go to our browser let's reload it once again and let's input some feeds now so let's give it a name of my first blog post the title select some post categories some name entertainment and uh, let's give some description here and let's click on add post so we are redirected back so i think everything is working fine so let's go and check our database first let's check our 
category underscore post pivot table and now as you can see here we have two fields where the post ID is 3 and it has attached and the ID 3 has attached with the two categories the category ID of 1 and 2 so now this post ID which has which which has a value of 3 has two categories of IDs 1 and 2 so our functionality of creating a post is working fine and in the next video we'll be talking about uh, we'll be implementing the edit functionality for our post model